This morning on The Dish, opening a restaurant is a big achievement. Creating a whole new cuisine is another deal. That's what Chef Trong Nguyen did at Houston's Crawfish and Noodles, where he blends the crabs and crawfish of Cajun country with the Southeast Asian spices and cooking techniques that he was raised with, creating a flavor sensation that's captivated diners while making a truly global impact. Janet Chamlian has his story. A walk through the busy kitchen of Chef Trong Nguyen is to find him wildly outnumbered <laughs> by crustaceans of the Gulf. Hundreds of fresh crawfish and crab fill the kitchen, but it's never enough. They always sell out at Houston's Crawfish and Noodles, a modest strip mall restaurant that has more accolades than some of the country's finest dining spots, including the most coveted of all a James Beard nomination for Best Chef Texas in 2020. Quite a payoff for a guy who spent 30 years in the casino industry. Talk about a bet. With no formal training and a love for food, he wagered his life savings on opening a restaurant. You left a really good job to do this. Very much, yes. It's something in me telling me that, you know, win or lose is a gambler of life. Was it a gamble of passion? Yes, also. Chef Wynn is credited as one of the creators of what's become known as Viet Cajun cuisine. This is back in the refugee camp. Wow. Influenced by his family's cooking as a child in Vietnam, before he immigrated to the U.S., it's a mix of Southeast Asia and the good old American South. The Cajun part is whole boiled crawfish. The Vietnamese influence, a soupy soak of butter and garlic. These are like mini lobsters, you know? That's, that's all we do, handpick. It's everything like this, this side. This isn't your traditional crawfish boil. For one, the secret blend of spices aren't added in until after the mud bugs are out of the water. Okay, now we put the favorite sauce in. Okay. That's garlic and that's butter, butter. And garlic. And garlic. The imported butter. Imported butter. Let me, let me get a little bit more seasoning in there. The first one is too lightly Mix it. Now, now it's you ready? seasoning. Okay. Yes. Got it. Got it. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm afraid up, up that I'm going to. It's okay. Actually. Yeah, you got your hips going in there. Okay. This is how it's supposed to be done. How is it different from a crawfish boil in my backyard? When you open it up, yeah. you will see a big chunk of meat still crunchy, very, very crunchy. Not and soggy. never, yet, yeah, never overcooked. So that is the big difference. It may be his signature dish, but it's only one of his creations. How do you create it? Do you just, there's, is there a family recipe? Is it trial and error? Like, what is it for you? It just, food come in my mind naturally. So when I thought of something that I like to eat, I normally think of how to put them together. Chef Wynn says he likes to experiment, putting his own stamp on dishes, like stir fry noodles, chicken wings, spiced crab claws, and a Viet Cajun lobster. His favorite dish is always his most recent creation, currently a Viet Cajun salt and pepper Dungeness crab. That's a chunk of meat right there. Okay, and then you suck the sauce from the outside. Mm. Get a little bit of everything. It's a little bit salty, mm -hmm. sweet, it's, spicy. Yes, it's like a blend. Yeah. It's a blend of spices. As any crawfish enthusiast knows, there is a proper way to eat a mud bug. <laughs> I've had a fair share of the southern delicacies, but my technique needed improvement. So you hold a crawfish like this. Yep. Right? You kind of wreck it out. Isn't it quick. pull and turn? Yeah, pull and turn. So that's how you suck the hand. You see all the juicy and seasoning kicking in. Yeah. A little bit spicy. A little? <laughs> and a little messy. Don't wear white. Uh, Corey, Vin. Um, Vin is in the front of the house. Corey, the back of the house to help me out. Um, my wife, Pia, take care of all the paperwork and also help to uh, prep to uh, when, when we're busy. So kind of a family business. Chef Wynn working alongside his son in the kitchen. Even his mom helps. When we work in the kitchen, we like the machine. I mean, the front run like crazy, the back is like rolling. Business sank during the pandemic like restaurants everywhere. But customers are back. The loyal Houston area crowd and a never-ending flow of tourists. Some come right from the airport. 
customer is like our friend and the family. They very supported. It's now been more than a decade since Trong Win made that wager to leave gambling and bet on himself. You have no regrets from leaving the casino industry? No, sometimes I look back and say, wow, back there I only wear a suit, tie, look pretty, <laughs> walk away, you know, walk around, talk to people, shake hands, sit in a nice restaurant, dine in uh, with all the VIP. But now I carry every single dish out of the table to show it to the customer. But I'm very proud of it because that's what we made. That's what I made. So I'm very proud. For CBS This Morning Saturday, I'm Janet Shamlian in Houston. He could have the best of both worlds by opening a crawfish and noodles inside a casino. There you go. That's right? an idea. I want to see Janet get her hips in that, like, Like when she's really, Can like, I Janet Shamlian? shaking it. What a great sport. She's so she, brave. Janet did a great job. Did well with great a crawfish. Job. Wearing white. And, <laughs> exactly. and, I'll, that's, and I'll take all the crawfish you don't want. Happy they are yours. They are yours. Good stuff. Thanks, Janet.